Alrighty, welcome back. I'm your man, Bad Chad, and Queen Jolene's on the camera. We've got Nate in the house, and we're on air, but our bulb has blown out, so we're going to have to get a new bulb to get that done. Today, what I'm going to do is, uh, we received a pair of hinges, or a set of hinges from a fan, um, and I really appreciate it. And this sort of stuff gets used when, when it's, you know, when I figure it's time, or when I it comes across my brain, I go for it, and I grab them, and I use this stuff. And that's why I appreciate it, because I know that I'll use the stuff down the road. We have a bunch of electrical things on the other room over there we haven't used yet, but I'm not using anything until it's broke. We have a bunch of stuff that's been given to us that we still have, and we will use when it becomes time. I'm thinking we got these around the time that we started the cab over truck, and uh, they might even be a hinge that I could use on that truck. But uh, at the present moment, the project is the 40, and this is what I'm going to do them on. And the reason I think I want to do the suicide hinge, I'm going to do a suicide door on this. And the reason I want to do a suicide door on this, I'm just thinking a little bit. I do not like all this mess here. This is all damaged down here. Um, where the hinges go on, they're all, they're all poopy. Like it's, it's been damaged. The door has been opened too far. If you want to come over and take a look, be here. Just so everybody knows what's going on. You can see how it's got a mess of body filler down in there. In the corner of the door, also the hinge is not, anything right there, I'm not sure. The hinge is not bolted on, it's also bent and ripped down there. We've only got one bolt in there, or two, two in there, and two in there. They've been off before, and it looks to me like it's been, well, obviously it's got damage on the outside. Um, as we're doing this car, um, I'm thinking that we're also going to put a roll bar in this car. So the roll bar, I'm thinking, would go over the top, like across here, like that. And then the bar would come down here, generally like a roll bar would. With the door opening suicide way, you would not have to, um, with the door opening this way, you have to climb, go this way and get over that bar. You have to get, climb over that to get out. If the door is suicide, um, opens this way, then I can get out this way. Where the bar is going down like this, it might be easier to get out. I'm just thinking that in my own brain. You think that? that when you put the roll bar and the bar comes up like this, if the door goes back this way, it'd be easier to get out, would it not? Oh, yeah. Yeah, so that's what I'm thinking uh, with the suicide doors. Um, and we have those hinges. I've never done a set of hinges like that, but we're going to do them right in front of your very eyes. As I am going to play with this and put them hinges in, Nathan has got the front end um, off, this, or got the front, front uh, wheels off. And basically what we're looking to do, uh, to take away from... It's, I'm not sure if it's going to take away the work or it's going to add to the work or what it's going to do, <laughs> but it's going to make the car um, easier to work on, will it not? Yeah. The engine and stuff like that. We are quite high up. We're going to, no doubt in my mind right now, where Nathan's just messing this stuff around, we're going to do a flip front end. So Nathan is working on this. Nathan's worked on dump trucks and that sort of stuff and big equipment. A lot of flip front end stuff. Yeah, all that stuff. Dude. Yeah. So Nathan would actually know... Um, what he wants going down there. We'll do that together like after a little bit after he figures out what he wants Maybe I can jump in on it with him and help him with it But right now he's just trying to straighten the front end up on it to apply something to the front end obviously yep. And uh, that takes some time. So we'll let we're gonna let Nathan uh, deal with the front end for now Get everything lined up really good I'm going to go for the suicide doors and you're gonna get to watch right at the present moment uh, I do not want to well, I don't want to make, make a mistake at any point in time, but when, when I'm cutting this car up, I really don't want to make a mistake putting them hinges in there. And uh, this is what I'm thinking. As I'm looking at this, and I've, you know, if it all fails, I got directions right there to show me how to do it. But I'm thinking that um, this goes in here like, like so. Um, this goes in here like this. These, these pins go back on the outside of the quarter panel. That's what it said on the instructions, or, or it looked like it said that in the instructions. So we're gonna fit this hinge inside of this post. These are the pieces that are gonna be connected to the door. Uh, I feel like this opening right here, this opening right here, I'm feeling like that opening right here should be um, right there. If you know what I'm trying to say. I don't know if the hinge is going there or not. But I feel like that opening there should be put in there like so. So we'd have another opening here, down there on that one. I'm feeling like that that's where it should go. 
I have the post like this. I am not going to mess with it. And the reason being I'm not gonna mess with it is because I don't feel like I should have to. I'm gonna put the hinge up where I think I need it. So this is what I'm gonna do. I have an inside piece on the, so you can see the uh, quarter panel. We got an inside brace there to the wheel well. Um, we did not know what we were doing before we did that. But when I look at this one over here, this, this hinge would be nice if it went right on top of that and then it would be, I'd have no issues whatsoever. Um, I could slide that in there if you want to come. I don't know if you can see that or not. Um, I'm right on top, right there. I'm going to take and cut it out right here and right across there and then fit it up at the top. We're going to leave that piece in there, I'm thinking. And the reason being is when, when I stick this on top there like that, when I go to that distance, you can see that, that this hinge piece is almost going to touch that quarter panel. And that's where that needs to be. That, all, that needs to touch that quarter panel for this piece to come out here. Um, let's cut it out. I'm going to take and mark it first. I'm going to try not to get the tape measure involved. And the reason being is I've got, I've got the hinge right here, right, right in my hands to know the length of it and where I want to go with it. I'm going to put it in right here. I'm going to try it anyways. And the reason being is, maybe I can go the other way. The reason being is I need the length. Um, I can't go down any further because it's not going to fit in there. If there's not enough, to be honest with you. Well, there's Douglas. So if I go down here any further, if I bring the hinge down further, this piece, this piece here is not going to fit inside there. So when I'm when I'm looking at it and I'm putting that in there, this 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 here, it looks like it's going to fit inside the quarter panel. So I should be okay. I should be okay. Good morning, Douglas. If you want to take and just um, take off where you left off and just rub that stuff down just a little bit more with the 600. And then that'll be perfect if you don't mind. Appreciate it. Cool. Yeah, yeah, he says. All right, let's cut this bad boy out. Um, I'm not, what can I say? Not 100% sure on any of this. I'm just, I'm just going for it. And I feel like it's just better to cut it all out. And then it is to try to cut pieces out and try to get it in there. Let's do this. Get the door in the right spot before we put apply those hinges but we got nice gap everything's staying in place everything's staying in place okay now we got that lined up all righty where's our hinge let's see if we can put that sucker in there we obviously haven't got enough yet want to see if I can even get that in there. I think that the bottom is fine. I think I have to cut some more of the top. And like I said, you can see right here where I cut it right on the top of that. I'm hoping 
that we can get that somewhere, somewhere similar on the top of that. I don't want to go down past that. I feel like that should be fine. And the reason I don't want to go down much further than that is because how wide that is, it's got to sit in there. And there's a bolt there. Let's, let's knock her up a little bit more. And cut her a little bit higher. Get my marker. Just want to cut a little off the, off the top so that it gets in there. After you miss the smell of grinding discs all weekend, it's like, ah, bright you, sunny moon, you know, bright sunny day. <laughs> what? Just smelling the grinder? Yeah. Yeah, it just brings it all back. left down in there we'll try to get that out before we get that in there not quite yet not quite Let's get a screwdriver and pull that off I didn't want to have to take that off but I'm gonna to have to That come off, or they're able to be loosened up is nice. These little screws, these little fine hit or fine thread screws, are uh, needed in a lot of places when it comes to these old Fords. If not, you'll be running and trying to get replacements. I got a little dovetail down there that's valuable to somebody or the little piece of the dovetail goes in we'll just keep those right there you don't wear dovetail shirts do you dovetail shirts no i remember those shirts that hang down in the back you mean <laughs> the mullet shirt the mullet shirt that's the all right now let's get this going again just want to see where we're going how much more we got to get off i don't want to put it in too i don't want to put it in loose i'd, I'd like to weld that piece across the bottom of the face of that would be nice and then the, then the hinge would be in place let's just take a look here and see what i'm looking at down here it looks look straight actually i'm going to cut a little bit more up on this i got that little thing i got to deal with let's just cut the bottom out of it and let that That. Just want that to drop out. A little backing for that. to go in further I'm starting to learn Chad that every time we bring one of your projects in yeah it's like Christmas because we find all kinds of more pliers <laughs> you get some more vice grips and stuff <laughs> yeah <laughs> like Christmas now hmm I don't need a plate there it could be Right there could be good enough. Nope. Um, I'm feeling like that should go in tighter. And it should. I'm feeling like maybe this piece should go back here, maybe. See, see how I could leave, weld it right there? I could tack that right there, right along there. And I could tack that right along there and the top of there. Then that hinge would be in there. Um, I 
I'm thinking that this should be, I'm thinking this should be cut out and should be in further also take it in further and that's what I'm going to do I'm just going to cut it I'm going to cut this out cut that little not positive but Got it. That's where that's where I thought like I'd have the cutout. Um, looks right to me. Let's do that. Just pull that in a little bit, and that makes that hinge go over tight to the quarter panel, tight as it can get. I think I read that you want that over there tight as possible. What I'm going to do there, I'm going to tack that bad boy in there. That's what I'm going to do. I'll tack that bad boy in there. This piece here, um, that's fine how that's done, I guess. Um, the door is still going to meet it, no problem. Let's clean this off. Jolene! Here she comes. Four and a half. Four and a half. Okay. So we're good there. So. And, and Doug, when you're also, when you're done, will you set them back up with tape for me, please, and thank you? So I can spray them again like you did before? When you're done, like will you set them, bring that table back in and glue them back down like you did before, please and thank you. All right, man, how's it going? Oh, good, yeah, that's good. That, that's, that's fine enough. Yeah. Right, yeah, yeah. Thanks, Doug. Anytime? Same time tomorrow? All right. Now. Now, what I'm thinking is, get them to what we're going to do is we're going to apply that hinge right there. Get the welder going. That, I don't know if we want that on top of that or... Doesn't matter. It's good right there. We'll tack that bad boy in there. Get the welder going. I'm gonna turn on some air. Air's already on, bud. Oh, well done. Well done. Um, do I need an air hose or an air? It's a good thing for Nathan this morning. He knows where everything's at. Appreciate it. <laughs> Oh, this one needs to be clicked up to make it work. 
appreciate everybody coming back this morning, really do. Went out and looked at the interior panel that me and Jolene made yesterday, and that thing looks fantastic. Done it, baby, huh? I think it I does. I know you guys were interior uh, gurus. Well, gurus. Oh, well, we just, you know what it is. It's called will and want. That's the one. That we, we've got a little bit of that in our, in our soul, we do. It's called will and want. I'm just going to tag and come over and see this. I just got this right hard up against, right hard up against this line as far as I can get it in. They said to try to get that as close to the quarter panel as I can. This is straight because it's welded straight, and then I'm just going to pull this, pull this bad boy where it's supposed to be, and I'm going to weld it along the top of there, and then we'll have it set in there. One, it's being held, and two, it's in place. You don't really want to get weld up inside where your hinge flies out, up inside there, but now yeah. let's do this. We're welded down there, we should be welded up there, and we should be, it should be good, like it. I see no reason why it wouldn't be the same. Attack. I think I'm going to weld that right there. It's going to be welded in anyways. Okay, so. Now I'm just welding that in the inside lip. I'd never be able to get at that once I once I do do anything else to it. I'd never be able to get at it once I close it off. So I might as well weld it up now. If I can. Sure. You can see where I got the thick metal and then I got the, th the body metal. I want to hit it on the thick metal first and then, and then go to uh, the thin metal. There, we're, we're sort of tacked in there. I don't feel like it's going anywhere. I'll have to cut it out if I, I want to get it out. Now, that obviously has to be cut out. It's not going all the way, obviously. You can see how this is stopped. It's hitting this piece. Now we have to get in there and, and, and get that cut out on the inside here um, to let this come out all the way. Let, let's do that. Did I put my hat somewhere? Let's cut this out. thinking we have a nice fit there you can see uh, where they have it cut where we have it cut we'll match it up and then why we need a little bit more of this one there we go we'll take a die grinder so that comes out all the way you can see this one is, is, is stopped because now we got to get that out of there all right make sure we clear it all out so it fits nice. And the rest of it, like, I mean, let's face it, the rest of it seems like a pretty, pretty basic job. We just need a pattern to go in from here to there and around this piece and around that piece and connect it back together. So it was just more or less taking the material that we cut out and putting a new piece back in there to hold that in there tight and right where it should be. I'm just going to take a die grinder, go around these little openings here to make sure everything's right. And I'm not showing you 
I'm showing how I'm doing this. I'm not, um, what can I say? I've never done it before, so all I can tell you is what I'm, what I'm visualizing myself. I cannot tell you right from wrong, because and, and most times you learn as you go. We're just tacked in there. We're just tacked in there. If you want to come in and take a look, I've got, I've got a spot that I can, I can weld it right here. Like I can weld that right here. Haven't got nothing up here. So I'm thinking that they, that's, they give us some square stock. They give us, I mean, they give us some square stock. I use a lot of this stuff. So I'm thinking to make it tight and right, I'm going to need a piece of longer square stock because I'm going to take that square stock and, and bang it on the back of that hinge and I'm going down, I'm going to have to take it on the inside of the inside, I can take it down on here and weld it here and weld it on the hinge, weld it up here in the hinge, but then I'm going to take it right up top to the, to the exhaust pipe that we have up in there. And that way there, that hinge will be nice and sturdy and will not go anywhere. We'll have it, we have to weld it all the way around here, all the way around here. We have to cap, put a piece on that and cap that and connect it back together. We'll take, when, once we bring this over like we, we cut off, once we bring this back, we'll make a 90 on this side so it's nice and strong and plus have this piece in the back side. Let, let's go to the door. I, I don't know what's going with the door yet. I just want it to take a look. So I want to put the door. I can't put the door on yet. Got to cut some. <laughs> Got to cut the door. Now, where I have the door... What I'm going to do is, I'm going to eye that up. I'm going to go to the other side. I'm going to have to, I want to mark that on the door because I have to cut that to put a piece in there to hold these pieces. I got these pieces right here. These must be for the, to hold the doors. So I'm going to have to make a support system inside the door so these fit uh, let's go and take a look these fit I would say that these go in between uh, this piece and this piece I would think because this this would be I'm thinking this this piece of metal here is threaded um, and that piece would go on this side of this piece or we'll have to see I'll take the bolts of that leave them there for a second going to the other side to see I have to cut the top top of the door now I have to cut the door open to make that thing and I'm just leaving the front hinges on the door obviously because that's perfect it's holding me in place I've got the door I've got the door uh, gapped and, and the door fits where it's supposed to fit uh, but basically the front hinges are just holding it what's going on right now I'll get the back lined up get the back welded up and then we'll peel that stuff off and start going that way but basically I want to know this is what I want I want to know how far up I have to chisel off or cut out I got this piece here that's holding me up from this hinge that's got to be countersunk inside that door and uh, can can are you able to go outside there, baby? Just tell me when the line is lined up in the uh, on the door. And somewhere is close. I just need the body line lined up, if you know what I'm trying to tell you. The that looks pretty good. Right there. Okay. I'm just going to cut that out. So I'm just marking the hinge. 
still still good? Okay. Yeah. Mmm. I just have, what I have to figure out figure out now. I can tell right now that when I cut the door out, when I cut this piece out of the door to put my hinges in, I've got it marked right here. The top hinge is right about here. I'm gonna have to cut out to get it in there. I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to cut some of this out here um, to allow that hinge to go in there. Not sure how much yet, but let's cut some out of the door. What I'm thinking is I'm going to have to make a, I'm going to make a metal box, or yeah, a metal box, I guess, um, so I can weld these pieces too. And what I mean by a metal box is I'm going to probably insert, make a, a say a metal box, a piece that comes flat, comes out, comes out, comes out, flat, and I'm going to shove that in there, French that in there, so I have something for these to weld to and and go on like a meeting I even have to looks like I have to cut the door up there further unless I cut these off we'll see what happens I'm going to try to shut the door we're not in there further enough yet and that needs to be cut down I can see that from the outside yeah, that's good See him just above there. Now I have to cut that out far enough to get that in there. Let's cut this one. Cut more out of it. Can't get at it with the with the lip hanging out. Have to get a longer disc on it. I like using this smaller disc for for grinding welds, but right now I need to cut something. Just cutting a little bit at a time on the situation. And the reason being is I don't want to get too much cut out of it. And then I... I want to see if I can get the door shut first and then go from there. Hey, we're getting closer. So we need to get more out of the door. See how close we're getting? We're getting closer. Oh, yeah. Okay, I want to answer. Paul's calling us, the glass guy. Hello, Paul. How are you doing this morning? Oh, find the middle one. Hey, Don. Um, I got that glass all cut. I just got to grind it. Just wondering if tomorrow or Wednesday we can work for that. Wednesday. Wednesday? That'd be awesome. Wednesday, Wednesday morning, be all right. That'd be I get there, you're looking 
Fantastic. That'd be good. Awesome. Okay. We'll see you Wednesday, Paul. All right. We'll see you then. Have a good day. You too, man. Bye. All right. Bye. Right on. Gotta like that, eh? Gotta like that. Goss, goss, goss. All right, see, we got, we're, we're getting, I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna go to the other side. See what's look going on here. Oh, we're looking good, we're looking good. If you wanna come over and take a look, sweetheart. Now, basically, um, what I'm thinking is, I have to build a box inside the door so I can um, weld those pieces to that I have on the floor, that bolt. I should tear it apart, actually. It's, it, I got the right distance there, too. I didn't open it up too much. I think I got her just right. And what I mean by open it up is, is the length of it. Length of it's good. I think on the top of it, I could probably take a little bit more off the top of it because it's down over that first hinge that goes inside the door. It's down over top of that a little bit. I probably could cut a little bit more into that. I need, I need to come in a little bit further and if you can if you want to come take a look um, when I say I need to come in a little bit further this is this is probably the distance that I need to come in cut more to the door so I can shut that door on that hinge so I need to, I need to get that in there and I may need to get in there just a little bit further than that I'm not sure you drink you drinking again are you Nathan oh, yes <laughs> <laughs> all right this is the door we're cutting uh what i want to do is i got to cut a little bit more out of that and we've seen when uh, we put it up against the hinges there i think we i need a little bit more out of this piece maybe a little just a little bit taller would be nice we'll come across here and i need this much more out of there i'm thinking see that to get that door to come in that much. And that way there, when I shove it in, then at least, at least I can get the, the door in. Let's cut that and see how that goes. Fingers crossed. Let's see if we can't get the door shut. Am I in there yet? Pretty darn close. Now, I want to. Doug, you uh, help me for a second. All right. Just, just kind of hold, put your hand and hold that, kind of make sure that line stays there yeah. like that. Just want to go take a look on the other side. Probably should have a light. And then they're quite a ways on the bottom. What's hitting on the top? Um, oh, I know where I'm hitting. Nope, I gotta cut that out of there, that's all. There's a piece I gotta cut out of there. And you know what, it probably was the piece that was holding me back in the first place. You're fine there. I've got 
lots out of her now. No, there's a piece inside the door. This I showed Jolene before it comes. See, there's a little piece run. This piece here runs in the track for inside the window. We're going to end up. We're not going to be using that track whatsoever. We're going to be shoving something, 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 something down inside here. Um, so we're not going to be using that. I got to cut that out because it's hitting on the inside of this. This uh, this hinge here. This hinge here is flowing freely. Got to cut that out. Let's go back to the other side. Let's cut it. That's good, Doug. Thank you. Cut this out. This is the piece that we want cut out. We have a little piece right there welded to it. It's got a little piece right there. We'll snip that off. Snip that off. We'll pull this piece out. Now I'm saying the door should fit freely. Freely. It does. We're in there more than we need to be. And I can get it in there to stay in there. Now I'm going to go and take a look again. Actually, what I'm going to do is, uh, I'll take a look, quick look. I just got to peel the backings off those hinges. Yeah, that looks good. Looks good. That's my two inch one. Yep. to connect the hinges to the door the hinges on the car the hinge on the on the car is fine I just have to connect the hinge on the car on the door so this is in place I'm thinking that this is in place this is fine it's not welded up by no means but it's in place and it's fine I have to take these out I know Doug had a package of those somewhere Hopefully one of these will work. That's not it. I don't know about today, Chad, but your DeWalt grinders are going to cry when I brought my Bosch one in to put it to work. <laughs> <laughs> well, the old DeWalt ones, I can, I, I can give them, I'll give them props because I have put them through the mill. They've had some hot suppers, haven't they? They've had some hot suppers. So I got a bit of an idea geared up here slowly, but we're going to have a piece coming off the frame with the bushing I want to in see the end too. of it. This will be in the frame coming out, and then I'm going to put where the grill comes down. There'll be an angle like a flat plate. Then there'll be two ears coming off the flat plate with these on it, right? And the pin through. So these will be on the hood. This will be on the frame with the grease fitting in it. <laughs> right on. And then there'll be a plate on there and. I need the geometry right at the end of the frame. I'll just have to get it. That's going to go down low when it rolls up. Should be, should be all right. So where are you getting all this information from? The stuff you've done before? Just I've seen some of that stuff before, and we're just trying to go uh, with it. Yeah, like right you on. said, if it don't work, try again. A, basically, <laughs> uh, that is the truth. <laughs> so heard knocks. Isn't that from, how it goes? What's that? The school heard knocks. School heard knocks. Yeah. <laughs> Mine's a school of mistakes. It's a hard knock. <laughs> the more mistakes you the make, the more you learn. <laughs> That's basically how I do things by mistake. Some of us learn better with our hands than they do with our brains. We so we'll see how it goes. Yeah, let's thread it into this piece. Not sure if I have to have all three, but I think I'll, I'll put all three in. There's three, two of these, obviously. Okay. 
Okay. These obviously go on here. Which side is which side? Let's see. Looks like they were started from this side. Now I'm thinking that this goes on like this. And then this piece would be welded to the door. That's what I'm thinking. And, what, and also what I'm thinking is they have this, this thing here plenty long going this way and this way so I can cut it off at any point that I want to. Um, what I'm thinking is, what am I thinking? I just want to get this squared up in there and get these on here. Make it look right. Make her look, make her look good. I'm thinking that that piece there should almost, should be welded um, to this piece also, uh, and the reason being because this piece is going to be welded. This piece is going to be welded to the door, and I have to have this on the back of it welded there. So when the hinge, if the hinge door has to have ever come off, I just pull out these, uh, pull them out, and then the, the brackets right there, just like what's inside of the door here. Uh, there's two screws holding a piece in the back of there. We dropped it on the ground. Exact same thing. It's going to. Snug it up a little bit so it does not move on me. Once we have that in place, um, then a lot more, more can be done. So I can shut the door. Hopefully I can tack these somewhere inside the door. And then I can build metal to come to them to hold them where they should be. What I'm trying to say. So we got a few things that we want to build for this car um, to make it um, all it can be. Let's put this on there. Come on, Beppe. Not going in for me. Here we go. I want to get these in there nice and straight as possible by look thing that I can look on the back there's probably a bent there's a line right there look you can see that line on the back you basically just want to get in there straight as possible and we know that uh, these the bolts are going to work for the door because we've got them in now like they're they're working now so they should work in a couple minutes when I tack it in there I want to tighten this up a bit. Bear with me. Bear with me. It's 
Stop it. Jeez. So the fan that sent these in, we really appreciate it. We're gonna, we're obviously gonna use them. We're gonna make them work. It's all good. Now what's gonna go on now is I'm gonna shut that door. I'm not gonna be able to shut the door to be honest because it's not gonna go in. This piece here is not gonna go all the way in on this piece. Let's let's check it out. Because I remember it was only just a little ways beyond that. So we've got that on there like so. Let's go take a look on the other side. Where you at? Let's just take the other way. I'll show up the door. The other way, she says. The other way. Now I got the door like that. I've got it opened up to here. Um, I don't really want it opened up in any further, to be honest with you. I don't think it's necessary. So what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to cut these off. They don't need to be that long. I'll cut it off and see if I can get it in there and nail it to that piece, and then uh, it can hold it. If I can nail this piece down there on the bottom of that somewhere which i think i can um we'll we'll have it already in there and everything will be good i just have to box it and make it stay uh tighten it up and what i mean by tighten it up is bring metal to it to make them square stock pieces stay put that's basically what i want i could even run a piece of square stock down um th down the edge of when i cut this off i can run a piece of square stock down like this if i want to once i cut it off and then connect it inside the door to make it tight and right. But basically, right now, I want to cut them off. So I'm going to cut them off on this side. The bottom one will fit no problem. This is the top one. But we want, we want to make them both the same. The door should shut again. What's holding it up this time? Am I not far enough? I'm hitting on the bottom just by like a sliver, and I'm hitting on the top a sliver. So let's, let's knock them off a little bit. On the top. Actually, I'm gonna mark it. Gotta mark it. A little bit there. And a little bit there. What happened is, the piece that I put on for the hinge, that I just screwed on and cut off, is made, has made the hinge a little bit wider. So I have to allow for that. That, this piece here, I allowed for this piece, but I didn't allow for that, that width to that width. So I've got to open it up a little bit. So I've got to take a little bit off the top here. And I've got to take a little bit more off the bottom there to allow this piece to go in. So I'm very close. doesn't fit this time that means I have to take a little bit more all right we're we're in place we're in place and then also when I start tacking this stuff I want to make sure that that door is in place when I start tacking those pieces in there because if the door's not in place well then there's not much sense in me tacking it on there because the door is always going to be crooked there we want it to be honest with you I, when I'm done I want no adjustment 
And what I mean by no adjustment is I want the door to fit where I've got it. Where I've got it. That's what I want. Okay. See how see how that one's fitting in there really nice? I can weld that right along there. It's on there. I've got nothing down here whatsoever. So now I'm going to have to build something from this one down to this one, on to this one, and, and so on and so forth. I see I have... Uh, what do I have? I'm going to loosen them up a little bit and, and see if I can drive it back a little bit because I'm at the point where I'm almost at the door right there. And I can roll that... Well, just bring it back a little bit, I'm thinking, if I can. Just open that up a little bit. And then that way there, I can weld that edge to the edge of the door. I don't really want to... It would be nice if I could get it in there that far. Nope, don't have to do that at all. That's what I'm going to do. Hold in. Let's do that. Yeah. Good rest. I almost can deal with that right now, is I can take a piece of um, flat stock, lay a piece of flat stock on this, lay a piece of flat stock on that, and weld it to the door, weld it to the door down there. That will hold that hinge part there. I, then I can weld this piece here. I can connect those two together and then uh, start going from there. All right, this one really good. It's sitting good outside there right now. I think the line's perfect, is it not? So basically, what, what I'm, what I'm want, wanting to figure out is whether or not I want to put a piece. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put a piece of flat stock from here on the end of this. We've got a little bit of metal. I got a little bit of this is the piece here. This is the edge of the door right here. I want to get that edge of that door back. You can see it down there. If I run a little piece of flat stock down there and weld to this part of the door, weld that part of the door, and then weld this face of the hinge to it and this face of the hinge to it, or this piece of the hinge to it, then that can't go anywhere. Once I tie the ends together, it should stay still for me to make the door. What has to happen is I have to get this all made. And then I'll probably end up taking, uh, I don't know if I take the door off or not, but I have to make everything hold these pieces inside the door. Like these, this piece here is where it needs to be. Now these pieces have to be secured inside the door. And then that, matter, that makes uh, me make um, a piece of metal in there, basically. Let's... Just kind of wondering how I want to do it. Let's get a piece of flat stock for a second. And it can be done many different ways. I'm just going to try to do it the quickest way I, I know possible. I could try that in there. So you're making a flip front end from nothing. Again. Yeah. Again, from nothing. From, from stuff that you're finding in the shop. That's right. I'm, oh, I'm sure you can buy the proper hinges and all that stuff, but yeah. we'd have to wait three weeks to get them, probably. Yeah, and we don't need that. Now, see that piece of metal? See how it's crooked like that? I think that was a test pilot for something. Let's bend it back. How hard is that again? Not bad, eh? Huh? I'm the metal whisperer. Metal whisperer? Yeah. <laughs> The metal whisper. Just going to go on the inside of the door here. With the door closed. I want to check the outside first. Um, that, this is important. That has, to be, that has to be at the line where it needs to be. Also, I'm going to want to push in like that to make it be where it needs to be. Excuse me again. Okay, I'm just going to go inside here and see if this will work. Got my marker. I could come right in the middle there. Put that in there. To there. Cut her off. It's up to there. Two inches. 
Let's do this. How you making up, Douglas? Good, man. Good, man. Awesome. Good. Just had to come in and see if you were still making her. Hey, Chad. Yes. On the driver's side of that piece of square tubing, could you kick that over to me, please? I can. Thank you, sir. That's all you need? For now, yep. Thanks. Okay. Yep. We'll get into what Nate's doing here. After a little bit, after he gets going a little bit, probably making a lot of pieces right now to make himself happy. So I've got this piece. Now, ah, I gotta cut that off a little bit more. All right. You can see what I'm going for here. So I can get that in there. And I can connect these two pieces together, is what I'm, what I'm looking for. I'm just looking to connect this piece of metal. To this piece of metal not worried about anything else and connecting them together to get them squared up inside there and connect those to the door got to cut a little bit more off Doug, can I have your help for a minute? What I'm going to do is, is I'm going to get Doug. This, this top seems to be fine. The bottom probably could be pushed in a little tiny bit. I, I'd leave it right about there. Just kind of give me a little, I just want a little, out a little bit. But yeah, but like something like that. So that's lined up good. So if we took this piece, and let yours out a little bit. There you go, something like that. You want to hold that there. The top is staying in place. That's what I'm hoping for. And I'm going to go in and connect that on the inside and them two pieces should be connected together once I weld it, or they will be connected once I weld it. And then it's halfway connected. You know what I'm trying to tell you. Halfway is connected. So I have this piece. This piece. I'm going to bring it out to the door. I'm going to connect that right there. I'm going to connect it to the door. This piece to the door. Didn't connect the, this piece yet. Just connecting the square to the flat stock to the door. Then that will bolt on. Now, everything good out there, Doug? Looks good to you? No, didn't connect that to the car yet. Connected to the door now. Okay. I'm going to bring each hinge out to touch it. I'm thinking. Now, I'm going to weld. That would pull that piece, that'd be able to pull that door off. Making sure I do this right. That's all I want to do. Make sure I do it right. I'll give a little tiny bit of a gap there. And the reason I'm going to say a little bit, nah. I'm just going to bring it tight to the square stock or the flat stock at the edge of the door. I'm going to weld it to it. I guess. Let's do it.
I can weld it on the inside of the outside. Walk back to that flat stock. I don't want to weld the hinge to the stayed away from the hinge, the hinge in there. <laughs> don't want to weld that. I don't want to weld that. Just gonna leave that. I can weld it on the inside, and I'm going to. It's not gonna affect it any if I weld it on the inside. Um, down here. I don't think. Got it. Trying to get tack in place. And I want to make sure that everything is in place when it comes time. I'm going to pack everything. Now. <laughs> he must have been playing with Doug's butt. <laughs> no, no. The only excitement I get. <laughs> Jeez. All right, I'm going to tack this here. Uh, I didn't get you hot, did I? <laughs> did it sting right away, Doug? Now, I'm thinking that... I'm thinking I'm, I did that right. I think about that for a second. This this will come unscrewed from there, so I can when I open the door up, I'll unscrew these, and I can pull this this off because I've got this here. I just have to fill that in that part. But I'm just looking at it. Basically, what I have to do now is that what I'm thinking is I'm going to run a piece of metal um, on the front of this, cut those two sections out, and just run a piece of metal on the front of that, if you know what I'm trying to say. Take a paper pattern. I've got to grind grind this off because this is stuck out too far. This piece here and this piece here, th these are stuck out too far and the flat stock is, is stuck out too far. So it has to be taken back some. Um, I think what I'm going to do uh, just to get it in place is I think I'm going, I'm going to weld something in here um, on the end of this, the end of this, tack it down here and up inside there so it can't take off anywhere. Uh, let's face it, I had it welded there. I'm not thinking that this one's going to take off, I don't think. Um, but I am going to have to take the door off to do a nice job on fin finishing this. I'm just wondering how I'm going to do it. Uh, what, what do we have for time? 110? All right, there's going to be, we're, we're obviously, we're, we're 110 in and uh, I have to do more work, but the hinge Basically what I'm thinking is, is I have to put a piece of metal in to cover all this with this open. So I'm going to make a pattern and uh, all this will be cut back to the height of the door because we have lots of trimming to do there. And run it back and then we can make a nice piece there connected down here and up to here and uh, then we'll be nice and secure. What we're trying to do is secure that piece and that piece inside the door so when we hook the hinges up, it has no issues going up and down. It's tight and right. On the front, we'll just pull the pins, cut everything off, and fix. All right, everybody, thanks a lot for coming back. I really appreciate it. Um, have not done that job before, but I think, it, I think it's pretty self-explanatory what's got to go on if you want to take the time and take a look at it. And uh, thanks a lot for coming back. You come back tomorrow. No doubt we'll be here. 
Doug will be in the exact same spot because we won't let him move. I probably will, yeah. <laughs> All right, everybody. Thanks very much. Come back tomorrow. We'll be here.